old river oboe out here this morning on the high rock gonna go at it gonna try something a little different gonna try some old school crappy fishing with some minners today instead of just shooting jigs gonna try a little both actually going under the bridge here at tamarack sun's just coming up see what we can do here Beat some working today, so play a little hooky. Stay with me. Let's see what we can get done here. Slip floating minners. Fix up our bobber stop here. Just slide it off. Mm, I can't really remember how deep it is here. Fourteen foot, so I'm gonna fish it about eight foot, six eight foot. Start with. All I'm doing is pulling this little knot tight at about six foot. Yeah, maybe eight foot. Gonna get a cementer out here. Just gonna hook him right through the back. There we go. Try the old, well, these old faithful crappy magnets. Green and chartreuse and white. Red head, 132nd head. Got these. Uh, just a 2500 series Elite Reel. Wally Marshall crappy shooter rod, five and a half foot. See if we can get a big in the day. Yeah, got a pretty good fish here, feel like. Don't know what it is. Pretty good one. That's a big old pretty crap. I'm gonna net this one because I'm bad about losing them. Oh yeah. Not a bad one for the first one of the day. Probably a pound. Pound fish. Put him in the live wheel. There's one. Fine. Don't feel like no big. Nope. Maybe they're just now starting to wake up. Come here, baby. Stand still. This makes about four for this morning. Well, only one good one. Sometimes you just gotta figure out what depth they're at and work on them.
There's one. Ooh. <laughs> it's not getting no bigger. The baby. Heard somebody say hey, put that back because the pitcher be on a milk carton tomorrow. Mom and daddy looking for him. Found a few here on this uh, old fallen tree. They ain't very big, but they're crafty. There in the mist. Sometimes your jig tail will get over your hook. So if that happens, you're not going to catch a fish. Actually, threw her there and got hung with the minter. Then I caught one. And the minter's actually laying out there on top of the water, and there's a little small bass or something coming up trying to get it. Not very big, but they're fish. Plenty of this size in here. I'm just kind of dipping it down in this tree right here. It's a good way to fish when it's real really snaggy. There he is. <laughs> Fish with him. A couple feet under the boat. A little white crappy. Yeah, those fish are just right under the surface unless he just followed it up there's no one say there's a small one they're fun to catch Switch to a red and chartreuse jig because it's like I said, the water is just a little bit stained, a little darker from the rain. They seem to be hitting it a little better. I'm just kind of fishing it along here. See, I ain't just a couple feet deep. Maybe there'll be a slab in here somewhere. There, all you gotta do is drop it in there. Pick them right up. Just drop them in, pick them up. Not even real. Just as you drop it in there. Hmm. Get off that wheel. Come on there, baby. There we go. Really want to turn the trolling motor on right here. Afraid I'll spook them. There 
there he was. Look at there. It's jiddling. Just dropping it down there in that tree and shaking it around. It kind of reminds me of farm pond fishing when we was kids. All we'd do is walk the bank. Just kind of shake it up and down the edge of the bank. Or just look at him walking off with it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty fun. It ain't getting nothing in the live with them. Look at that. Just straight down. Pick it up. Now you just pop it in. Got a few dead minners in here. Since there's a bunch of crappies in here, I'm going to feed them to them. And get them in a feeding frenzy down there. Hopefully he's kind of getting me there. One on it. <laughs> it's just a baby. Oh. We're gonna have to go find some bigger fish. Just stop. The line just stop dropping. Stick with me. We're gonna try to get something a little bigger now. little ones. Nothing but little ones today. Nothing but little ones. Got me a wind up ball of this boat breaking my neck. There's 
seem to be biting this red jig a lot better than the white. There's one. Get no bigger. Different color in there. Uh, I get this big in the shoe. Uh, it's a little dry. <laughs> Three casts, three feet. Just right on the bottom. But they're not very big. Little fish. Seems to be a few under this one. Hit the slack the wrist in. Small. This still beats work. And it's still fun. But it would be nice to get you big. Getting ready to go under the bridge here. Show my boss what I meant. If I can get under the bridge, I wouldn't work in the day. How's it going? That's what I was talking about, trying to get under the bridge. A little bit bigger, not much. Been a rough day today. Throw the seventy dollar wireless mic in the water. I should have had the waterproof thing on. But live and learn. I knew I was gonna knock it off in the water. Still, that's the way it goes. We'll catch some fish here and shake it off. A little bit better fish here. A little bit better fish here. I got a lady that'll take them. So I'm going to catch them. Oh yeah, keeper. Enter in the slip float.
good fish. It's a good fish right here. Might have to net this one. Look at him first. Oh, it's a brown. Little brown. No wonder he's fighting harder. <laughs> I was going to keep him for a catfishing trip. So he got out of here. I can't say it's been a great day, but it hasn't been a terrible day. Catching fish, it's sunny. A little aggravated about throwing that mic in the water, but if you've been around me long enough, you know that's the kind of things I do.